Sup? Yeah, it's Monday. I was like in bed last night at nine o'clock. Nine till seven. I woke up at five though. I had like gurgly guts. It's pretty garbage. Anyway, I was gonna make breakfast this morning, but then I was like, you know what? Let's do intermittent fasting. Basically, it's where you you don't eat all morning, skip lunch, and I'm, well, I'm gonna do OMAD one meal a day. So we're just gonna do dinner. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And for bodybuilding it is because it gets the motor running in the morning and starts the whole uh, process of metabolizing protein for muscle repair. But I think I'm going to skip breakfast, skip lunch, and just jump right into supper. And what we're going to do to facilitate that, apple cider vinegar. Gurgle, gurgle. Alrighty, now that that's out of the way. I uh, got some black coffee here, so I'm going to be drinking that all morning. Which reminds me, I gotta go grab my coffee cup out of the living room because yesterday when I did lifting and coffee, I kind of left it over here. Even though yesterday's lifting wasn't that much lifting because I just wasn't into it. Wasn't <clears throat> quite feeling it. Oh, well, at least we got coffee today from a clean coffee maker. That's a bonus. It won't taste like fart. I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to today. Like I said, I gotta work. From 9 to 5, Monday to Friday this week. And then next week it's half day freaking Friday again. Son of a bitch. Then the following week, it's freaking Christmas. So it'll be Monday to Thursday. Then off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Then Mon then uh, Tuesday to Thursday. And then off for New Year's. Then onward into 2021, eh? Holy. I'm gonna go restock my water. So what's all of your predictions for 2021? Better yet, what the hell do you guys think of these stupid monolith things showing up everywhere? That's pretty freaking weird, right? Personally, as far as 2021 goes, I'm pretty sure it's gonna tell 2020 to hold its beer and watch this. With all the shit that's already unfolding. US elections, if Biden gets in, all the nonsense going up here on up here in Canada with friggin' Trudeau and them literally talking about if people don't get the mandated vaccine that they're gonna be limiting their capabilities and just the way they're running the show. I have a feeling 2021 is going to be off the friggin' hook. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, last night I was pricing out BBs and pellets because I wanted to know roughly the price. Holy crap. <sighs> as far as BBs go, they're fairly cheap. Copperhead BBs, 1500 count. It's 10 bucks. However, I saw this really cool thing. Crossman makes a BB pellet combo pack for $15 uh, you get like 350 pellets 250 BBs or something like that I don't know let me just click on the damn thing and we'll take a look yeah dual precision combo pack so it comes with 45 millimeter copper head steel BBs and 0.177 crossman precision wad cutter pellets and those are the pellets that my gun basically uses it's wad cutters and those BBs will fit my little pistol. So yeah, 250 pellets and 350 BBs. That'd be okay for an afternoon worth of plinking. Holy crap, why did I get up at 7.30? Anyway, let's get some coffee and water into me so I can really wake up and get today's job going. So we might go to Crappy Terry tonight and pick up some ammo for the rifle. Like I said, we won't be able to do anything till the weekend because I kind of don't want to do anything till we have daylight to do stuff. I think that'd be a, a better idea. A lot of you probably agree. Well, change of plans, people. Said I was gonna go at tonight around seven. To Canadian Tire, cause they're open till nine. Go pick up some ammunition so that this weekend we can do some testing tunes on the old air rifle and pistol. But, log in today, the boss messages me. Yep, I gotta pee. Basically wants me to work 12 hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so, sweet. So not only is it a full week's worth of work, Monday to Friday, nine to five, Today I get an extra four hours tacked onto it. Well, three hours, because it's an hour off for lunch. But whatever. I'll be working 11 hours today, and then uh, that'll be pretty friggin' sweet. Get some extra money before Christmas, and uh, because of the rules of uh, stat holidays. See, theoretically, back in the day, before all this nonsense went down, if you didn't work a stat holiday, you got paid the full eight hour shift. Even if you only worked part time, and uh, you uh, only work like five hour shifts or whatever the case may be. 
you still got paid eight hours on days off that were a stat holiday. The government passed a rule stating that going forward, any stat holidays you don't work, you're paid an average of your hours. So because I theoretically work seven and a quarter hours every day, because they don't pay for lunch, you get 45 minutes off for lunch and you don't get paid for it. But because that's the case, except for Fridays, half day Friday, it's, they take 32 hours a week and divide that by your total and you end up getting like friggin' crap. So it sucks. And the average is based on the last four weeks you worked prior to the stat holidays. So luckily today's shift will count against that total. So hopefully Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, or uh, New Year's Day, all of those will reflect and life will be good. So here's mother friggin' hoping, boys. Anyway, I'm just on a quick break. Went downstairs to rock a piss. I'm trying to wake up, and man, I... I'm so groggy right now, like it's unbelievable. All right, well, how much time do I have left? I got like 10 minutes, I'm gonna pace it out. Try and wake up a bit, talk to you in a bit. Oh, it's like almost three o'clock, still got six hours to go. <laughs> six hours to go and I'm on my second 15 minute break. I still have like another hour's worth of breaks left so I can take them in either 320s or 415s. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I just realized I'm really wrong. I took, I'm taking two 15s, one now, one later. I'm gonna have some cheese. What the hell's that? I'm gonna have some cheese and some apples right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do for supper tonight. Probably gonna make some chicken, some eggs, and some sweet potatoes. I don't know. I'm not gonna have, have dinner till like nine o'clock, which sucks. I hate eating that late, but probably gonna have to. But no, I get um, an hour lunch and two 20 minute breaks. So I get an hour and 40 minutes of not have to work time. So I'm gonna eat an apple or two and eat some baby bell cheese and, and then friggin' get back at her. So got uh, three minutes and 50, still got 10 minutes. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Man. Get out of bed this morning, it's dark out. Get off work, it's dark out. Oh, I'm still working guys, I'm just on a 20 minute break. I figure I don't wanna be eating my dinner at nine o'clock at night, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come downstairs, let's stoop it out before he gets the idea that it's a good idea to shit on my floor. And then I'm gonna fire some, bought some sweet potatoes there. I wanna try and air fry them, see how they turn out. We'll bake one of these bastards in the air fryer. Chop it in half and then fry it up. They say to put it in for like 30 minutes at 200, so give her the full blown dial spin and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I burn them to shit and they're no good and I'll still eat them, but. You wanna come inside? Coming, Oreo? Mm, I think he went poop. Oh, sorry if today's log seems like I'm just out of it. It's cause I'm just out of it. Like I woke up this morning guys at 7.30 and I felt blah. Like I felt garb. And then all day today I just can't shake the freaking groggies. Luckily I only have three hours left of this shift and then I can shut her down and go to bed. Because let me tell you, I'm feeling out of it today. Like really big time just not having it. Like I feel really drained, really lethargic. And normally I'm not like this, so there's definitely something going on. And last night, like I went to bed at nine o'clock-ish. Like I shut down the video and I started the render and I went to bed. I uploaded the videos today during uh, in the morning when I was doing my steps. But yeah, like I'm nowhere on steps for today. I'm 3,700 in. I don't think I'm gonna get them all done because I just don't feel it and I just don't care. Cause I'm friggin' cooked. I know when this is done cooking there, uh, I wanna do some chicken. I might spin it a little bit more though and give it a couple more minutes. I wanna do some chicken as well. Have some chicken and sweet potatoes and maybe some eggs, I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe get some fish involved cause I do have those salmon steaks. Some fish, chicken, sweet potatoes. Just get all the protein possible going up in this bag. Eh? I haven't really eaten anything all day except for I had those cheeses and apples earlier. That's about it. And those apples are 80 calories a piece and the cheese are probably maybe 100 calories a piece. 
probably not even, probably like 80 as well. So I had like 320 calories worth of shit today. So I'd like to say that's why I'm lethargic, but not really because I don't know. I don't know. Oh, whatever it is, it is what it is. It's Monday. We'll just burn through today and then tomorrow and the rest of the week and then the weekend will be here and we can figure something out. And uh, then we're back to four days on and half day freaking Friday. Lovely bloody jubbly, eh? Once again, sorry for being all lethargic and down. It's I'm just freaking tired. I don't know why. I literally drank a pot of coffee today and it's not even doing anything. It's stupid. Motherfucking eight o'clock. It's motherfucking eight o'clock. I got some chicken and potatoes in my air fryer. I'm gonna drop me my fingers. It's gonna taste so good. Hopefully it doesn't look like poop. Oh man, it looks like poop. I'm eating it anyway. Yeah, I think I cooked them too long. It tastes okay. Definitely cooked them too long though. Mm -hmm. Just gonna make some salmon to go with it, just cause, you know, delicious. Little salmon, sweet potato. Hmm. Sweet potatoes are good though. Have to admit, glad I bought these. Just remember for next time that uh, not to cook them too long because they turn out like fart. Been hunting around lately on Kijiji. I'm kind of upset that I didn't jump on it a while ago. But um, uh, back in early summer, maybe July, there was a, uh, somebody was giving away a free truck cap for an eight foot Ford, but it was for an older style Ford and I didn't know if that would fit my truck because apparently the mounting's different on each year. And I wanted to get a truck cap, like a, you know, like a cap cap. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a hard top for camping. Just, you know, go park somewhere and have like a cot or something in the back and all my gear and just go and camp and not have to worry about setting up a tent or anything. Figured that'd be a great idea. But I didn't jump on it for some reason. I Instead I jumped on that tent, which the tent is fine for the summer, but it'd be a lot easier to insulate a hard shell than it would be to insulate a tent over the winter. Also it would keep the snow off my truck in the winter time. I never jumped on it and I regret not doing it. I've been keeping my eyes on Kijiji and on Facebook Marketplace just in case another one pops up for free or cheap so I can jump on that shit because uh, it's definitely something I want to do. Anyway, I got my salmon and my chicken. I already ate my sweet potato because I'm like that. I'm gonna go drop this in my face, finish off the last 40 minutes of my shift and then We'll be done for the night. Ye freaking ha. I also bring my coffee container downstairs because uh, I pretty much killed a full pot of coffee today on that 12 hour shift. Usually I try not to do that because it makes sleeping at night such a pain in the ass. But the way I feel right now, I'm pretty freaking groggy, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to let the dog out because it's been uh, since about four since he's been out. So I had my dinner there. That was pretty good. I don't think I bought anything to snack on. Uh, yesterday I went to uh, Freshco after I shut down the vlog mainly because I wanted to get some sweet potatoes which I did uh, some butter which I did some eggs which I did all that is done I was gonna pick up some seasoning there to make my own seasoning that I mentioned before on a video something I was working on on the side there uh, I'm low on garlic salt and that's one of the spices that's going into it is garlic salt because I freaking love garlic salt yeah I put that on everything salt pepper garlic that's like I love it SPG is okay for me like I used to use Montreal steak spice on my steaks and then I started mixing up my own little salt my own little salt pepper garlic and some other spices to basically give what I wanted for a steak spice Started adding that to steak, to pork chops, to chicken, to fish, to vegetables. Sauteed some vegetables in a frying pan, threw that in there, just woke it right up. It's like, yeah, this is the flavor that I enjoy. So I added it to rice, uh, some minute rice to see if it would help, and it definitely does. It's one of those where this summer coming up and we go camping and that, I'll definitely have it with me. If we catch any fish and we cook and clean them there on the spot, uh, you can bet your, your bottom dollar that she'll be getting coated with the... Uh, 
Skiven Spices, whatever the hell we call it. Friggin' Pitter Patter Spice or something, I don't know. That'd be a great name. Oh, just coat your steak in some Pitter Patter and have at her, bud. Hey, that'd be the, uh, it's Pitter Patter and I had at her. Or whatever, I don't know. Frank, we'll make some stupid dumb commercial for it that we're not, for a product we're not gonna sell, eh? Holy. I know some people asked if I would ship them some and I don't know, I, I could probably do something. Like it was only a buck for those three containers at the buck store. So if I actually get something going there, I'll print off some labels and maybe I'll do a contest or something and ship some out. We'll see. We'll see how we do, eh? One of those, we'll see how we do. Anyway, holy crap. Tell I'm using the Sony today. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call her here because it's like five after 10 and all I'm doing is pacing around and ranting. Do IT for 12 hours straight, you kind of get a little burnt out. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's another day. Yay, yay. So until then, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, leave a comment down below. And until next time, guys, remember, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.